I want to give a shout out to today's sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious developers just like you and me. Explore new skills, deepen existing passions, and get lost in creativity. Skillshare offers creative classes designed for real life in all circumstances that come with it. These lessons can help you stay inspired, express yourself, and introduce you to a community of millions, especially with the uncertain times that we're all living in today. Day. Skillshare is a perfect way for you to brush up on technical skills that you can use to secure your future as aspiring developer. One of the classes that I'm particularly interested in is the hand coding your first website HTML and TSS Basics original by Rich Armstrong. And I think this is perfect for building that basic foundation that you need to help you move on to JavaScript and building your own websites on your own. The first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a two month free trial of premium membership so you can explore your creativity. Once again, thank you Skillshare for sponsoring this video and I hope you all enjoyed the rest of this video. Hey, good boy. How you doing, handsome? What's up, puppy? My gigantic puppy, what you doing? What's up? Say what's up to the vlog. Say what's up, YouTube. Okay, boy. Did you have to lick the lens? Seriously, I almost filmed half this video and the lens is all licked up by your tongue, homie. I can't, all right. I think that's better. All right, guys, let's start the vlog. <laughs> All right, guys, so I have some big news, and you probably already know what it is based on the title of this video. But before I even share this with you, man, this journey, the last four years as a developer, but also sharing my journey with you guys here on YouTube has been absolutely amazing, man. From my first two years, you guys followed me as a junior developer to getting my mid-level developer position at my last company. And even from then, you guys saw me get laid off from that company to be where I am today. And just the fact that I've been able to share this journey with you has been unbelievable, to be honest. And to be quite frank, being able to document my journey here on YouTube has helped me personally so much. Because you know how some people use journals to write down their thoughts. YouTube has been like that for me. YouTube has been a way for me to share with the world and my future self, my future kids, my future family, the life that I went through to get to where I am and where I will be a couple years down the line. So first of all, I just wanna thank you guys for even joining me in this journey. For those who've been here since the beginning, for those who are new, I hope you guys enjoy the ride, man. All right, so here we go. I can't believe it, but I did it. I finally started my own company, guys. Just to think about that these words are even coming out of my mouth right now, because if you were to tell me five years ago, six years ago, that I would have my own company, that I would be making more money than I could have ever imagined, and that this is still just the beginning, that even if I got laid off from a high paying job, that I would get an even better paying job after that fact. Like, this is crazy, man. <laughs> so yes, I started my own company. All right, so let me go ahead and tell you exactly how this happened. So a couple months ago, I got laid off from my job as a mid-level front-end engineer, front-end developer, front-end software engineer, whatever you want to call it, I got laid off. I made a video about it and my boss from my first developer job actually saw it and a couple days later, he called me and offered me a position. He was like, Chris, name how much you want to be paid. I got you, here we go. And we started. A week before I started employment, he called me and he's like, Chris, I have a question for you. Do you wanna be a W2 employee or do you wanna be a contract worker? It is totally up to you. And I was like, dang, uh, no one's ever asked me that before. But I remember contemplating how maybe choosing to be a 1099, do a 1099 rather than W2 would be great. I asked him, please give me a couple days to think about it. I called Coding Phase and asked him what he thought would be best. I called my uncle who has his own business. He makes a lot of freaking money. <laughs> he has his own business. And so after talking with everyone, I decided to go with creating my own company. Mainly for the fact that 
I can save quite a bit of taxes. When I go trips around the country, for example, I'm leaving the state tomorrow and I'm gonna be gone for about a week. That entire trip is a tax write-off. When I fly to Hawaii in January, that entire trip is a write-off. It made absolute sense to actually do it. So yes, I'm starting my own company. And what's really amazing about this is that when I thought about it, I'm no longer just an employee. I'm a tr contractor, right? So I'm a contractor for them. So they technically are my client and I'm running and I'm working as a web development company. And now I can share with potential future clients that yes, I worked on particular projects for this one company. I'm doing all these different things. I even flew out from state to state to state, which will help me significantly in building a web development company. But aside from that, there was one thing I realized that I can do too. Like I do YouTube already. I already do a web development company. But even apart from that, another thing that I've always wanted to be able to start was create an apparel line. An apparel line of clothes that I would like to wear. An apparel line of clothes that not just I can wear, but something that can actually represent developers all around. So what I started was developerbranded.com, developer apparel, so you can check this out right here. I'll put the link in the description below if you guys wanna check it out. You don't have to buy anything at all, but if you do, I appreciate the support. I love you, and if you did, just hit me up on Twitter or DM me, and you know, I'll, I'll share the story with others. And so I ended up starting an apparel company, which is crazy, dudes, because I'm gonna show you a screenshot right now, but the sales, just from my first 30 days starting this apparel line, we sold so many clothes, especially the hoodies, man. Let me show you, give me one second. All right, so I'm not gonna lie, man. These are hands down, like one of the most comfortable sweaters I've ever worn. It is perfect, it is just right, and it's true to size. But I never would have imagined that even starting another company, aside from web development, would have been as successful as it's been. Like, I think I sold at least 50 hoodies to date. And it's just, it's been amazing, man. We got people ordering from the UK, from Mexico, from Canada, from all over the United States, people who live down the street from me. Um, it's been so amazing to see how many people actually support the brand. And, and it's cool because when I started Developer Branded, I wanted to create something that was really made for developers because there's nothing out there. There's literally nothing out there. There's some companies here and there, but nothing that's really made to represent us and what we're doing. I would have never thought that being laid off <laughs> would have led me to where I am today. Because I'm gonna tell you this, man. What I was earning before, compared to now after getting laid off, the, the difference in income is huge. I'm gonna tell you this, that because of YouTube and because of my actual job, the income from before, right, to where I am today, the difference is pretty big. And I mean big. When I mean big, I mean like, the difference is fifty to sixty thousand dollars. I would not be here at all if I didn't get laid off, and if I didn't start my company, which I actually started two months ago, I would have never had the mindset to be as creative and just hardworking as hell to be at where I am right now. And this is just the beginning, yo. This is literally the beginning. Like my life has changed. Like starting next month, I'm paying for this entire house. You know what I mean? My, I'm telling my parents that they don't have to worry about it. I'm gonna take care of it now. Like, it, the fact that I've gone to this point, and now my goal from here on out is to make sure that my parents don't even have to work anymore. And so that is why I'm working as hard as I do. And it's all because I decided to start my own company. I just wanna thank you guys for joining me in this journey from just four years ago, being a junior developer, to being where I am now, where I'm so busy to the point that I need to hire my own videographer or my own video editor now because I want to upload the content. I'm going to start. I'm going to start uploading content like crazy, and hopefully, if I can grow my business even that much more, um, I can have my parents quit the job and just help me with my apparel line. Like, how amazing will that be? I still can't believe I'm here. But I just want to say thank you guys for the support. Thank you for the love. If you guys want to check out again the clothing, go to developerbrand.com. I'll put the link in the description below. But if not, if you can't, that's fine. You don't need to buy anything. And if you don't, that's all good. At least leave a like. And if you haven't yet, subscribe. Because what I will be doing from here on out is documenting my journey, building my own web development company, and building developer branded. <laughs> this is insane. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. This is Krishan. This is the life of a web developer. And I'm out. Peace.